Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom, and I wanted to do a quick practice problem with you about Graham's law for diffusion and effusion. So this one is dealing with effusion. We have a balloon that's filled with helium gas. And it takes six hours to deflate to 50% of its original volume. So they've given us essentially a rate if we take it in percent per hour. Now the question is, how long will it take for an identical balloon filled with the same volume of hydrogen instead of the helium. And a reminder, that's H2 gas to decrease its volume by 50%. So, we did it with helium, we found out how long it takes to deflate, and now we wanna know what will happen if we do it with hydrogen. Before we begin, we want to remind ourselves conceptually, because hydrogen is lighter, it has less mass than helium, it's gonna be moving faster, the molecules move faster at the same temperature, and so it will effuse faster from the balloon. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate my rate for helium. And they gave us kind of weird numbers, but it decreased by 50% in six hours. So if we turn that into just like one number, it's 8.33% per hour. That's our rate of helium loss. And now we want to calculate what will be true for hydrogen. So we have Graham's law I'm gonna put hydrogen on the top because that's the one I'm solving for, so it'll make my math easier. And the rate is gonna be proportional to one over the molar mass. So I'll put the molar mass of hydrogen on the bottom here and the molar mass of helium on the top. And then I can solve this equation. I'm gonna first just solve for the rate of hydrogen. That would be our square root molar mass of HE over molar mass of H2 times the rate of HE. So let's plug these guys in. Molar mass of helium is going to be 4. Molar mass of hydrogen is going to be 2. I'm rounding a little bit, so bear with me. And um, our rate we calculated is 8.33% per hour. So when I do this math, I'm going to get my rate for hydrogen of 11.78% per hour. Now, I've made good progress on solving this problem, but they asked me not for the rate, but for the time. This is one of the things that's tricky about Graham's Law problems, is that sometimes they're going to ask you for the time instead of the rate. And you have to remember, it's always like something per time. In this case, we have like percent per hour. Um, in any case, we want to know the time. So they told us it's going to decrease its volume by 50%. And if we have 50% and our rate is 11.78% per hour, then we should come up with 4.24 hours. And that'll be the time that it takes for that balloon to deflate to 50% if it's hydrogen instead of helium. Now we'll do a little gut check for us. Um, we thought from the beginning, since hydrogen is lighter than helium, it should take less time, it should be faster than helium, and that is in fact true. So we feel like this is a reasonable answer. I hope this is helpful, and I hope you have a great day.